Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So today we have a simple recipe here for you. Gluten-free street fish tacos. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's dig in. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Mm. 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 Mm, 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 mm. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be making Cajun spiced fish tacos. All right. So right here we're going to be making some slaw. So we have some cabbage shredded some red onion and some carrots to that we're going to be adding some distilled vinegar salt and pepper and then right here we have our two tilapia fillet that we're going to dice up in some small cubes and then we're going to season those with our jerk spice cajun spice rub okay all right so first we're going to start off with our colorful slaw we're going to add about one tablespoon of white distilled vinegar we're gonna add a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. Once we've added all of that, then we're just gonna blend it all together and sit aside until we season our fish for our fish tacos. Now we're on to our fish. For our fish tacos, so as you can see, our tilapia is nicely cubed and then we're gonna add our spice rub to that we're gonna do it to taste out of the spice rub i use probably you can still see the water on my hand from when i wash wash my hands i dry it but i didn't dry the back of my hand all right so we added about one and a half tablespoon of that season too we want to make sure that we season it nicely all right, so if you want to see the recipe for the spice rub, you can check out my jerk salmon recipe and you'll see exactly what I put in the spice rub. So in this pan that's about medium heat, we're gonna just oil it with a little bit of butter. This is where we're gonna do our taco shell. So this is where we're gonna do our corn tortilla taco shell. So these fish tacos are definitely gonna be gluten. So our saute pan right here, we have about two tablespoons of canola oil heating. And then we're gonna add all our fish. So then, now all our fish are added, we're gonna cook this for about three to four minutes. Three taco shells. These are gluten free, and we're gonna be making six of these mini street tacos. So we're just gonna add all of them to our pan and let them toast up for maybe a minute and a half on each side or until you're desired. Maybe you might like them a little bit more crispy. Meanwhile, other people like them less crispy. Okay, so now all our taco shells are in, and as you can see, our fish are being done nicely. We're about halfway done, and then once this is done, we're gonna start it. Okay, so as you can see, our taco shells are nicely um, toasted, and then we have our fish mixture. So we're gonna start assembling our fish tacos. Oh, these are delicious! Look at that. The fish has a nice color to it, and we're gonna top this with our slaw. And once we top this with our slaw, then we're gonna top this with some spicy mayo, which all we make our spicy mayo is equal parts mayo to hot sauce and then a pinch of black pepper. Look at that delicious slaw, ooh. Look at that, beautiful, huh? And then we're gonna hold it up a little bit more. So we have our spicy mayo right here and we're just gonna do a little drizzle technique like that. Mm. This look delicious, all right? I'll see you in just a few for our mukbang section of our fish tacos, which are gluten-free, simple, and delicious. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Adrian Unfiltered. Today we have our simple Cajun gluten-free street fish tacos. Oh my goodness. All right. So on this fish tacos, as you can see from the recipe, we have gluten-free um taco shell which is made from corn we have our slaw and then we have our spicy mayo and our delicious fish not too salty very simple to make and easy all right let's take our first bite i'll let you have the first bite go ahead go ahead and taste it go ahead Ooh. all right 
Mm. Mm. Look at that. Mm. 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 Guys. Oh my God. These fish, fish tacos have the perfect shell. They're nicely toasted. Delicious, nice, tender fish on the inside. Delicious slaw, not overpowering, so you're tasting the fish. The spicy mayo has a really great in-depth element to this. Oh my God. And guess what? I recently discovered this Amazon hot sauce. This is a mango flavor, not sponsored. But I'm going to add some of this to my fish tacos and I'll let you know. Mm. I'm telling you, if you, I don't like fish. Honestly, I hate fish. But these fish tacos are so amazing. Oh my goodness. All right, so I added some of that sauce to it. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm, 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 Guys, this sauce right here, amazing. Mm. We're gonna go for one more of these fish tacos. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. Oh, MG. There you go. Guys, these fish tacos taste so good. They're delicious. They're easy to make, very simple. Oh my goodness. If you are, if you have the time, I mean, this is a quick, easy meal to make. This is good for um, a game night. This is great for a simple party. And I must say, these fish tacos are just simply delicious. Guys, I wanna say if you like this recipe, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. But before we go, let me take one more bite. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, my God. Guys, thank you guys so much. <laughs> I want to say later, big up on yourself, everything iry. Like, comment, and subscribe. And big up on yourself, enough love, peace.